Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to use a new pattern generator in Waveform to generate chord progressions really quickly and easily. First thing to do, grab a MIDI clip, drag it onto a new track, head over to the pattern generator tab, select chords. First thing you want to do is pick the key for your clip. You can either use the key up from the global track or you can set the key manually. For experimenting I find it easier to set the key manually so it's quicker to make changes. By default, the chords are shown in their Roman numeral format. Uppercase for major chords, lowercase for minor chords, with a circle for diminished chords. The good thing about using the Roman numeral format is if I change my scale from major to minor, each of the chords is appropriately changed from a major and minor chord and vice versa. As well, if I go back to major and then change my key to D, all my chords are transposed. So it makes it really quickly to experiment with chord progressions in different keys. To edit my chord progression, I can use the keyboard. I can delete this one with the backspace and then select my chords with the numbers 1 through 7. Or if I hold shift, and use the numbers 1 through 7, I get 7th chords. To the right of the progression area gives me some statistics based on popular music about what chord appears next most often in chord progressions. The height of this little bar gives the relative popularity of each next chord. So if I just follow that as a guide, starting with 1, then to 5, then to 6, then to four, I get the most popular chord progression. As well as using the keyboard, I can edit chord progressions with the mouse. These arrows flip through chord progressions in order of popularity. This menu allows me to go from presets, which you can create yourself, or from popular chord progressions based on the same statistics. You can add more chords to the end of your progression with the mouse, or reorder them by dragging them around. Using the Roman numeral system, I can get all the common chords quickly and easily. If I want a specific chord, like a major 6 for example, I can find it in the custom chords menu. Now my chord progression is close to how I want it. I can come up to the MIDI editor and do some fine tuning. These up and down arrows move chords up and down an octave. Holding shift will give chord inversions. The left and right arrows will change the type of the chord where the shift in the left and right arrows will change the root note of the chord. You can also adjust the length of each chord in the progression by dragging the vertical bar at the end of the chord. Now to add some rhythm to my chord progression. I can go to the chord preset menu and select some predefined rhythmic patterns. But if I know I have another clip with a rhythm I like, I can go to that clip, select all the notes, and create, a, create a new preset. Then when I return to my chord progression I can apply that preset I just created. Now that I'm pretty happy with how my chord progression is sounding, I can hit this up arrow and apply the key of the clip to my entire song. Now my chord progression is done and I'm going to want to use this in various parts of my song. I can save the entire clip as a preset and anywhere I need my chord progression in my song I can quickly drag it and add it. Next up is bass lines. Bass lines work a lot like the chords so let's add another clip head over to the pattern generator, 
and select baseline. By default, the baseline gives you the root node of each chord. From the presets, we can affect not only the rhythm, but the pitch. For example, if we choose on beat octave, it'll still play the root note of the chord, but it'll go up and down an octave. Or if we select on beat arp, it'll play arpeggios up and down each chord. Again, you can create these presets yourself. For example, I have this MIDI clip with a little melody that I like. I can select all the notes, create a preset for bass this time. Now I can apply it to my clip and it follows the chords. Now let's do a melody. Once again, we'll add another clip to our edit, but this time we'll select melody. You can see it adds a bunch of muted notes. These are the notes from the chords over two octaves. We can pick a note length. I'll start with eighth notes. And now I'll start painting my melody. There's a new paint tool which will quickly turn notes on and off. So if I start from the start, hold down the mouse, I can just draw a melody. Turn off some of the notes so we don't have two going at once. Fill in some of the spots. Let's see how it sounds. Not too bad for just randomly drawing a melody. There are some new keyboard shortcuts that will be handy when using the melody tool. If you need to merge some notes, select the notes you want to merge and hit command M. If there's some notes you need to split, select the note, hit command slash, now you have two notes. Once your melody is how you want it, go to the select note button select all the muted notes and delete them. You won't be needing them anymore. So that's what's new in the waveform pattern generator. I hope it inspires you to make some cool new music.